coming up is the simplest example of periodic inventory system using weighted average method. You will learn how to calculate ending inventory costs, how to calculate cost of goods sold, how to calculate gross profit. Okay, we start our tutorial with example 1 that we used in the previous tutorial. Same goes to these questions. The question asks you to calculate inventory cost, cost of goods sold, and gross profit, but for this time using weighted average method. So we start to calculate the ending inventory unit. What we have to do is by adding the beginning inventory units and all the purchases. After that, we will have the same number what we did in the previous tutorial. The amount is 250 units. And later, we will calculate the total of sales in unit to get the amount 140. So, next, we will minus 140 units from 250 to get the ending unit of inventory that is in this question you will get 110 okay second step we will be finding the value for the ending inventory unit that we just calculated just now okay to get that number now we have to calculate the cost of good available for sale to get this number we will add all the value for beginning inventory in rm and all the purchases in ringgit malaysia so the total that you will get the number of the cost of good available for sale for this case 2720 same as previous video when we calculate the cost of good available for sale using first in first out method now having the value for cost of good available for sale now please remember that we just calculated the unit available for sale that is 250 by dividing the cost of good available for sale 2720 we divide by 250 units the number you will get now is 10 ringgit 88 per unit now we are going to use the 10 ringgit 88 per unit to calculate the value of ending inventory to do that we are going to call back the 110 units ending inventory unit we just calculated so now Using these numbers, we will multiply both and only to get the value of RM 1196.80 cent. This is the value of ending inventory. Okay, we move to the next requirement by the questions. The question asks you to calculate cost of goods sold. We will start with cost of goods available for sale. Now, next we will minus the value of ending inventory we just got from the calculation just now and the total the value that you will get is 1523 ringgit 20 cent so this number is cost of good sold okay now we will start to calculate the cross profit to get this number, we will start with the amount of sale stated in the questions that is 2,800. Next, we will minus the value of cost of goods sold we just calculated. And you will get the amount 1,276 ringgit 80 cent. This number is gross 
profit. Now, these are all the summary of answers for these questions. Cross profit one thousand two hundred and seventy six eighty cents. Cost of goods sold one thousand five hundred and twenty three ringgit twenty cent. And the last one, value of ending inventory one thousand one hundred and ninety six eighty cent. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and learning.